so today I'm going to Lake Atitlan, which is about two hours from here, from Antigua. Uh, last night my host picked me up. Here he is. Hey guys. He's driving there. And yeah, we'll go to that lake and then come back tonight, hopefully. I'm gonna try my best to go and come very quickly. So pretty much we took a tourist van and they're switching vans. So they're changing buses, but I'm gonna take a picture over here. Okay. <laughs> There's some volcanoes over there. So we're here in a small town. San Pedro, I believe the name is. It was a long ass drive, man. I just went to wear water and they don't actually speak that much Spanish here. Which I was surprised. It's just really small town. Nothing to do, it's just a bunch of hostels. Well, let me tell you guys something about this place. Uh, there's 12 towns on the lake. That's why they call it the Twelve Apostles, because every town has the name of uh, an apostle. So what I have to do now is uh, take a boat, because this town is kind of expensive too. It's a little crappy town, prices are hiked up. I might go to another town. I just, I'm just kind of dizzy from the ride, but now hopefully I don't get dizzy from the boat ride. It's like an hour. Some people swim here, but screw that. Like this water is coming from up there, the current. And I saw people washing stuff up there. Uh, there's people taking baths. I wouldn't suggest swimming here. I mean, there's animals over there too. It's just not safe, I think, to swim in this kind of lakes. So that right there is the main street going left to right and then here's our dock where I'm gonna take the boat to Tana. So we arrived. I wanna show you guys something. There's a drain right there and that drain goes directly into the lake. That's why when people are swimming over there, it's like, okay, buddy. The town I'm on right now is called Pana. Pana Jesuslu, something, but it's shortened for Pana. And it's better built than the other one. This is more legit. It's more of a city, well, a little town. Paved roads. Everything looks a little better, I guess. can really appreciate the lake from here. You can't really see the volcano that well. But pretty much I was all the way on the other side of the lake. I did it backwards. Most people come here first and then they go to the other towns. I went to the farthest town and then came back to the closest one. It's like a little paragliding too going on. You guys can see that far I don't think. But... find out how much it is, probably expensive as hell. So I just talked to these guys who did the paragliding. It's 900 quetzals, which is like 90 US dollars to do the paragliding or parasailing. I don't know what it's called. I'm really curious what these guys are looking for. They're like digging and digging. So these guys are actually looking for sand. Well, they're gathering sand, they just gotta clean it up and then they use the sand to build buildings, I guess. I never knew that's how you get sand, but I guess it makes sense. <laughs> 